There goes my vehicle. Look at all the bullet holes. Wow. Okay, what's with this kid's plastic badge? And you got a loaded pistol on you. Shots fired, shots fired. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Benzo here. We got a first person style of patrol. A lot of people have been requesting this style of action and we're going to go ahead and get started out in the LSPD division. I'm going to grab a few things from the bag real fast. All right. There we go. And let's flip on our body cam. There we go. Now I just did a recent YouTube video on how to install that body cam. If you guys want to care to look at that, make sure you do that. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Woo wee. Look at that. Looks so sharp. Oh, I do have a new taser, so check this out, guys. I uh, just installed it the other day. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to install this badass taser, it's a X26. This thing is so cool. Look at that. And we do have our Glock installed as well. This is a Max Payne style animated Glock mod. I showed you how to install that already. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. We do have a partner waiting out here for us. So we're going to go ahead and just make our way out of the locker room. We're currently out of service at the moment. And, uh, oh man, Officer Karen is not at her desk, guys. Okay, so let's head on over here. We do have a new car pack installed as well. And if you guys like this style of action, if you like uh, first-person patrols, those kind of things, make sure that you do like and comment and subscribe down below. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's see here. Where's my partner at? There he is. All right. Hey there, Officer. Rookie. All right, we need to get a new partner name, guys. Who is it going to be today? Let's see. It's going to be Officer Joe. Here we go. That's easy to remember. Officer Joe. Pretty easy to name to remember, actually, on YouTube. But anyway, I went ahead and uh, linked his uh, channel as well down below. If he has a YouTube channel, I'll make sure he does have a YouTube channel. And if you guys want to be my next partner, all you have to do is uh, actually, you know, like the video, comment down below. It could be about anything. I have a random comment generator. And the random comment generator will pick you up, and then uh, maybe you'll be your next partner. You know, officer or deputy or something like that. Agent, who knows? But uh, we're going to go ahead and start out here in the LSPD division, guys. And we'll radio dispatch in just a moment. Uh, this, this vehicle pack here uh, looks like it's a bunch of Crown Vicks right now, but we do have an FPIS, and we do have an actual Explorer installed as well. And we've got a really cool charger back over here. This is what we're going to be using tonight. And I decided to do a night patrol, too. I'm going to let time cycle a little bit. Maybe we'll go into the night, make it look kind of cool. But anyway, check out this uh, vehicle right here. This is by Avian Gaming. All right, here's the inside of the vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and get our partner. Hey, Officer Joe, get in here. There he comes. Oh, he's running, too. Well, I'm a sergeant. Yeah, he's got to impress me tonight. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and get started with dispatch here. And I did install the uh, kind of a new uh, radio graphic, if you will, that it comes with Grammar Police. Uh, really easy to install that. And I do plan on doing a Grammar Police install tutorial. I'll, see you guys, uh, I'll show you guys how to install this as well, but you'll see it right here. Sam, anyone? Dispatch, show me 1041 tonight. There we go. Sometimes you can't hesitate when... When you're doing a uh, grammar place, you can't really hesitate on that. You just have to keep moving. You, you can't like pause too long whenever you're giving you know instructions for the dispatch. So you, once you give the first command, then you can pause as long as you want up to about 40 seconds or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, actually just kind of get on patrol here and hope you guys enjoy today's video. Let's go. Okay, get a report to the vehicle blocking traffic. Dispatch responding code 2 over there. Okay, we got a vehicle blocking traffic. We're going to head over there. Now, uh, like I said, I have a field of view mod. You can see all the way to the back. Pretty nice, right? So it's um, when you do first person patrols, uh, it's kind of worth getting the field of view mod, you know, installed. And uh, I have that in my recommended plugins, and if you look really close, I included a config file that you throw in there with it to replace the other one uh, to get it working for you. If you don't have that installed, it will not work. 
And so we're going to go ahead and just head over here. We're going to be heading over to Pillbox and see what this is all about. This vehicle blocking traffic. Okay, I think it's going to be right up here, and I'm hoping it's not this intersection, man. This intersection is really nasty. Yeah, it actually is right in front of this intersection. All right, this will work right here. Yep, it is blocking, uh, not really blocking traffic too bad. This isn't too bad. Dispatch, show me 23. Uh, we're going to be uh, right in front of the pillbox, Hill Medical. All right, let's see what's going on. Negative. Uh, me and Officer Joe are going to be on scene. Uh, it's going to be Elgin Avenue, the Interstate 2, right across the uh, the street here from Pillbox Medical. Uh, stand by for 28, though. Here we go. Dispatch requesting 28. It's going to be for a black filter. Uh, it's going to be 15 uh, David Nora Lincoln 154. And uh, it's going to be a two door. All right, let's see what this uh, actual vehicle comes back as. Target vehicle license plate, 15 David Nora Lincoln 154. Target is 10 4. Okay, looks like the ve the owner just abandoned the vehicle out here. Uh, it's kind of parked, uh, no hazard lights on or nothing. I don't see the owner out here. They're not coming up to me. So we're probably going to have it towed away is what I'm thinking. Uh, we're not going to search it. There's no criminal activity involved or anything like that. No busted windows. I think we can see that looks abnormal. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get a tow truck for this. Dispatch requesting a 51. It's going to be a black filter 2 2 door uh, across the uh, street here from Pillbox Medical. 1 5 David Nora Lincoln 154. It's going to be a code 4. This, there's uh, no uh, 32s or anything like that on the vehicle. All right, let's go ahead and get a flatbed. We'll just get it on the flatbed a little bit easier. Tow it. We don't, we don't know what's wrong with it. it. The tires may be locked up on it, you know what I mean? So no reason to get a regular tow truck when they could just do a flatbed. They could just pull it on there. All right, you can put away your flashlight there, Officer Joe. Okay, flatbed incoming. Uh, okay, <laughs> here we go. All right, here comes my flatbed. That's a pretty nice flatbed. I really like it. It's uh, by Officer Turbs, and it's going to get shifted onto that flatbed over there. There it goes. Okay, pretty easy call. Dispatch, show me code four. We're gonna be back tonight. Attention all units, code four, no additional support needed. All right, come on in there, Officer Joe. All right, let's get back out on patrol. I do believe those lights, man, are still coming from my flatbed, guys. That's not my lights. <laughs> That is crazy. Those flatbed lights are phenomenal. Okay, still out patrolling at nighttime. It's kind of nice. Oh, there we go. Officer impersonator, La Mesa. Caller says that they have been stopped by someone that does not look like an officer. Nice. Dispatch responding code 2 over there. Because 911 call of someone uh, being pulled over by a non uniform police officer. Uh, description does not match our department or undercover cops. Okay. Uh, we're going to head over there. We got a, an actual impersonator. So we're going to find out what this is all about. Uh, let's kind of cut through this a little bit. Uh, we're going to be going to go on code three, but we want to make sure we get through these traffic lights. Uh, dispatch wants us to go code three over there because they they do have someone pulled over i think they're going to be across that bridge see that bridge up there yeah we're gonna head back this way and then we're gonna see what this is all about now i'm using a controller to drive so in case you're wondering why it, it looks you know semi-smooth anyway it's because of that reason I use a controller to drive and mouse and keyboard for everything else. Okay, they're going to be right here. There they are. Yeah, let's get a little bit closer. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, that is a uh, security guard. 
Alright, let's go ahead and light him up. He just pulled somebody over. Yeah, he had someone pulled over there. What is he doing? Now he's got his blinker on like he's pulling over. That's good, that's good. Yeah, this is a like a patrol officer, security officer, is what this is. Dispatch, show me 23, San Andreas Avenue, La Mesa. Right, she's going to ask us if we need backup a bit. Negative. Uh, me and Officer Joe, we got this. Uh, we're going to be at San Andreas Avenue, 21, 22. All right, we're going to run a 28 real fast just to see. Dispatch requesting a 28. It's going to be a four door uh, sedan here, white in color. 44 Victor Charles Lincoln 270. It's a dilettant. That's what that is. Target vehicle license plate 44 Victor Charles Lincoln 270. A traffic violation. Approach with caution. Okay, expired registration, not a real big deal on this. Uh, we're going to flip on our takedowns. Uh, so that way you get a little bit more lighting. Let's see what this is about. Hey there. Hey, Officer Benzo, LSPD. Hey, I noticed you had uh, someone pulled over there. Uh, any reason for that? I think I can talk to him this way. Uh, let's speak with the subject here. All right, this is Gary Wells, I think. Uh, what's going on? Why'd you have that person stopped? Because I'm off duty. That person was driving really dangerously. Okay. All right. Even if you're off duty, you can't be doing that. What department do you work with? Because I'm with the secret department in Los Santos. I can't disclose it to you. All right. If that's the case, uh, you, might, you, you might want me to call your supervisor. Do you have any identification or a badge or anything like that? Because I'll have you fired. The, for this officer, I'm not going to talk to you. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, until we can identify who you are, uh, do me a favor. Uh, do you have your ID on you? Let's see some ID, huh? Seem pretty nervous, sir. Mr. Wells. Okay, well, you do have expired registration as well. I don't know if you need that or not. Uh, do me a favor. Can you step out of the vehicle, please? Can you step on out? Okay, and also, can you uh, follow me back over, uh, back over here? It's a little bit safer, okay? Yeah, back over here. Okay, uh, there's some questioning that I can do with him as well, so I'm going to talk to him. All right, I think there's some uh, actual questioning that I can do through another menu, so I'm going to go through this, so kind of bear with me here. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him about searches real fast. Uh, anything leg legal on you I should know about? He goes, hell no. Everything on me is legit. All right. Uh, what am I going to find if I search you? He goes, nothing that would interest you. Okay, anything illegal in the vehicle I should know about? Uh, I'm not saying shit, cop. You're not saying shit. I mean, we're, we're fellow LEOs, right? Uh, so what am I going to find if I search that vehicle, sir? I uh, could find a pop can, could find a duffel bag full of drugs or guns. Search and you'll see. Wow, this guy's kind of a smart ass, right? Okay, I, th I think I will, actually. Uh, do you mind if I turn around? Let me pat you down, okay? Nothing's going to poke me, stick me, harm me anyway. Okay, thanks for your cooperation, sir. This is just for your protection, my protection, right? Okay, what's with this kid's plastic badge? And you got a loaded pistol on you. Okay, uh, do me a favor. Uh, just put your hands behind your back. Uh, right now, you're just being detained, okay? You're just being detained. Until we can investigate a little bit more, okay? So, what's with this badge? Uh, you want to be responsible for a failed drug bust? Fuck off. So, are you saying you're undercover uh, like DEA or something like that? Okay. Uh, then, uh, so you're active LEO? Is that what you're saying? Yes, Los Santos PD, senior officer. Okay, well, if we find anything different, you know that's another charge, right? Dispatch to Sam, 
dispatch, I'm okay. I can cancel checks. Okay, I tell you what, follow me back over here, okay? Because we're going to get you in the back of this vehicle, this patrol unit. Back over here, okay? Do you have a weapons permit? We're going to be checking that as well. Just have a seat there, Mr. Wells. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I have reason to suspect that uh, he's basically a police uh, impersonator. He's not matching any of our... You know, fellow LEOs or anything like that, our law department, uh, you know, Los Santos Police Department. And you can see there it says Patrol Protect Protection Officer. Okay, let me run his ID real fast and see, you know, what it shows in the database because uh, I don't think this is legit, to be honest. Okay, let's look him up real fast. Okay, Gary Wells. Now, one thing that Bajojo did with CompuLite, it, it should say cop right here. Or officer the top right of his uh, the actual picture I don't know if you guys were even aware of that if it's an undercover officer or something like that it would show right there uh, he does not have a gun permit and so yeah okay okay mr. Wells what is up with that uh, you do not have a gun permit and you do not have a notification identifying you as a, a LEO okay so you're gonna get a charge for that impersonating an officer, also concealing a firearm without concealed handgun license, right? Uh, I'm going to be searching that car now. Anything, you, anything you want to tell me about the car? No? Okay, I'm going to be searching that. Alright, stand by. Alright, let's go ahead and search that car and see if there's anything in there. Alright, let's see if I can see anything from outside. And you know what? He does got something right there. See it right there? It looks like a uh, a police scanner. That's what that looks like. Okay. Uh, tell you what. Let's search this vehicle. See if there's anything else illegal in here. I bet there's going to be something else in here. Okay. Police radio scanner. I saw that. Handcuffs and just a like a parking ticket or something like that. Okay. Well, that's good. But he did have a, a loaded pistol on him as well. All right, so we're going to be charging him with a few things. I'm not really worried about the police scanner. It's kind of funny that I'm saying that because you're actually listening to a live police scanner right now. That is the Indianapolis Police Department. That is live official radio through Broadcastify.com. So I'm playing a game. Uh, arresting someone for being a, a police impersonator and we're listening to live police radio scanner while I'm playing a video game okay that makes sense how how ironic okay we have uh, the it's a felony impersonation of LEO we're gonna go ahead and charge him with that right there now he had a fake uh, kids police badge so technically he didn't have like a fake uh, you know say license or government ID uh, we could charge him actually no he did have the the it's you know it is considered fake, so we're going to go ahead and do that anyway. Uh, actually, right here. Uh, this one right here. I'm sorry, guys. I totally missed that. Possession of fake LEO badge with intent to impersonate LEO. I mean, you can't get any better than that. That That is perfect. So, usually we don't find the charges that look really, really nice. And that one there is definitely really nice. So, we're going to go ahead and hit him with this right here. Concealing a firearm without CCP. And that should do the charges right there. So we're going to submit these charges right here, and we'll see what his charges are at the end of today's episode, so stick around for that. And we're going to get him picked up here. Dispatch, we have one detained. That's going to be San Andreas Avenue. It's going to be 115. It's going to be a personating officer out here. And stand by for a 51 as well. We're going to get you picked up. Affirmative. Uh, we're going to be in the bridge over San Andreas Avenue, La Mesa. Okay, now I did uh, try to do a weapon serial check, and for some reason it was glitching out on me a little bit. So, unable to do a weapon serial check, so sorry about that, guys. But we're going to get him picked up. My uh, officer Joe is keeping an eye on him. 
Dispatch requesting a 51. It's going to be for a white a diligent four door. 44 Victor Charles Lincoln 270. It's going to address Avenue 2137. Fucking scum! We'll do just a small tow truck on this one. Okay, Officer Karen, thank you for popping in here. Helping us out. I'm not sure. Oh, there's her vehicle right uh, way out there. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let that vehicle go. You can see there to my left, uh, it's being towed away. And that is one of my newer tow trucks right there. It's pretty nice. It's kind of a generic tow truck. Uh, it's San Andreas, so that way, you know, it, it can you know, respond to other places as well. Okay, let's cut our lights and then let's get get back on patrol so cars don't freak out around us. And let's go ahead and code for this call, by the way. Dispatch, show me code four. Gonna be back tonight. Let's get out there, I guess. Okay, still out here patrolling at night time. Love it out here. All units, we've got shots fired at an officer. Oh, shots fired? Dispatch responding code 3. Okay, let's get over there guys. I got some shots fired. Okay, they're gonna be down here a little soul. Right here. Oh yeah. Jeez. Shots fired, shots fired. Oh yeah, he's got a weapon right there. He's still got, he's still up, man. Oh, jeez. Dispatch me, those guys, shots fired, little soul. Okay. Holy hell, man. Dispatch be advised, we got two suspects down a stage RA just outside of Innocence Boulevard. He had an assault weapon right there. Okay, there's a female over here as well. Hey, Officer Joe, get her weapon, man. Oh, man, was this a traffic stop gone bad? That's what it was. Holy hell, man. Ooh, adrenaline's pumping now. Hello. Dispatch requesting RA, and it's this Boulevard 20 and 47. We got two suspects down, multiple GSWs. Uh, not, currently non responsive. Okay, have we searched him yet, officer? Do we need to search him? Let's see what else on him. Oh man. Uh, several small baggies of opium crystals. Uh, interesting. Okay. All right, let's go search her real fast too. Uh, dispatch be advised, we're going to be code 4 on scene. Oh, we got two suspects down, multiple GSWs, RAs rolling out. Uh, I don't know if I can grab her. Uh, I know that if I try to search her, I'm probably going to search the car, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stand back, let them deal with her. Okay, who all fired their weapon? Everybody? Guys, man. Well, I guess you better have. <laughs> there was, they were... That's a lot of gunfire. Lots of blood. Okay, I think I'm gonna let these officers clear out. All right. Thank you guys for putting the light in my eyes. All right, y'all can go ahead and clear out. Everybody, y'all can go ahead and leave. I got this. Me and Officer Joe. Dispatch, stop all traffic, uh, Innocence Boulevard. It's going to be 2148, Little Soul. Okay, 
Okay, let's go ahead and grab, uh, let's, uh, we're gonna have to call CSI in here. I'm gonna grab some lighting. Uh, look at my car. I'm gonna grab some lighting from the back. And, uh, we'll see if maybe we can clear out some of this traffic as well. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna park my car back over this way. And, uh, actually, we'll just leave it here. Uh, there's, there's this, you know, hard to get the uh, AI, you know, to, uh, you know, comply, anyway. All right, now we need to grab some weapons. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just grab, do a weapon serial check real fast. I uh, should be able to do this since I picked it up off of them. There's an assault shotgun. I do believe that came from the Mel, uh, the BMA. It's gonna be Ocean 68514421 for the serial check. It is a stolen uh, carbine rifle, came off the female. It's gonna be David 631450, uh, Frank. Uh, that one's valid, not reporting stolen. Okay, I'm gonna grab some scene lighting and we're gonna get some things set up here. Okay, we're gonna put some scene lighting right there. Give us some extra lights. Uh, we're gonna put some back over here as well. Because we're gonna need the extra lights for a CSI to come in here. And then we're gonna put one more back over here so we can get some extra scene lighting. There we go. Dispatch requesting CSI. Uh, we have two DOAs on scene. It's going to be a BMA and it's going to be a BFA as well. It's going to be an Innocence Boulevard 2151. Okay, Officer Joe, I'll get your statement from you in just a moment. Okay, you fired your weapon, right? Okay, you doing okay? Uh, I wish that I could call a ambulance for uh, my partner here. I don't think I can stop him, can I? Wait. Nah. Uh, it would be kind of cool to get an option where I can actually uh, get him some help, you know, from the ambulance. But obviously, I don't think he was, uh, you know, treated by EMS anyway. Or maybe we can replay that out that he was. But you can clearly see that he was shot through the window right there. See that? Okay, we have CSI rolling up on scene. Uh, there it is right there. It's my new CSI unit. I love how it lights up though. It's a black and green. It's pretty nice, right? Dispatch, be advised. Uh, we have CSI on scene. Uh, we're going to be uh, 10 uh, 7 for about another 10 mics. Okay, so we're going to probably load her up first, the female. I'm not sure what the, the stop was even about, to be honest. And then they'll load him up as well in just a moment. They're taking some pictures. Okay, so we're going to back this way. And they got her littered up in this really nice vehicle here. This is by Emergency Distributors. There she is. Pretty young, too. To be a gangbanger, anyway. She had an assault rifle, so I guess she knew what she was doing. Okay, they're going to load him up in just a moment. And then uh, we'll go ahead and clear a scene. Now, let's go ahead and clear the car, too, real fast. Since this is, is an active investigation, uh, let's go ahead and search the car. See if I find anything good. Uh, yeah, there's another 3D printed Navy revolver. Interesting. Okay, let's see what the, who this uh, car belongs to. Dispatch requesting a 28. It's going to be a four door black sedan. Uh, it's 49 Adam Edward, uh, Ocean 715. Uh, correction, 719. Okay, let's see what who this belongs to. This is a Black Traffic Emperor. Vehicle license plate. Stolen. Four Niners Adam Edward Ocean Seven One Niners. A possible stolen vehicle. Approach with caution. Okay, let's approach with caution. Well, it was stolen, so we. I'm sure that's why got they got pulled over. That's what it was. Uh, this is the registered owner right here, Lucia Andrews. Uh, she just reported her car stolen. So we'll contact her and let's go ahead and have this thing towed away as well. 
Dispatch requesting a 51 Black Emperor 49 Adam Edward Ocean 719. We're going to be on Innocence Boulevard 2154. Uh, let's go ahead and do a large flatbed just in case, since it's under investigation now. Okay, Officer Joe, we're going to be clearing out of here, heading back to the station. Alright, we got the flatbed coming, and let's pick up our lights and uh, we'll head on out of here. Okay. Let's get these lights and let's get out of here. Okay, Officer Joe, we got everything loaded up. Let's go. Look at look at this inside this vehicle. Look at this. I can't even uh, you actually see it barely. We're gonna barely even get this back to the station. All right, let's get back on out of here. Dispatch, show me code four. We're gonna be uh, ten seven for a little bit, about another. Five max. Attention all units. Code four. No additional officers needed. Okay, let's head on out of here. Let's get this uh, vehicle back to the shop here. Uh, you know what? I, th I think, yeah, we're going to have to tow our vehicle. There's no way we can drive. Oh, we're just going to have to catch a ride somewhere else. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, ha hop on out there, Officer Joe. We can't drive this. There's no way. I can't even see out the window. I mean, the, sar the other sergeants are going to have their field day with this one. Dispatch requesting a 51 is going to be from my own uh, police charger. Uh, we're going to be on Innocence Boulevard, parked over to the side. It's going to be 49 Victor Adam Tom 404, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we need to confirm this, otherwise uh, we'll do a flatbed. And we have to say, uh, you know, tow a cop vehicle? Uh, yes, go ahead. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, it's not very often that we can, uh, you know, have to tow our own, you know, vehicle like that. But with Grammar Police, check this out. We can do this as well. Dispatch requesting a vehicle. Uh, Innocence Boulevard, 2157. Uh, we're going to need another ride. All right, so now we can uh, change this out. Uh, we're going to do uh, Police 2. Uh, there goes my car. There goes my vehicle. Look at all the bullet holes. Wow. Okay, we do have another officer bringing me a car. There he is. Hey, thank you there, Officer uh, Tom. Thanks a lot. You gonna get another ride? Okay, thanks. Cool. That's the cool thing about being sergeant. Uh, they'll just bring us another ride. All right, very cool. All right, make sure that everything's off. All right, let's get out of the highway or the actual roadway here. Okay, everything else has been towed away, and we're gonna head on out of here. Okay, great job there, Officer Joe. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, you helped me a lot tonight. I'll make sure I'll give you high recommendations. Right, we're gonna pull into the back of our police station here. I'm right, gonna radio dispatch and let them know here. Dispatch, show me at 10-7. Uh, we're going to be back in the station, handing in some weapons for investigation, doing some paperwork. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, actually, let's go ahead and get out, and then we're going to grab those weapons from the back, and then we're going to head on down into the actual station real fast. Okay, you got the weapons? Okay, good. Okay, we're going to head back into the station real fast, and that way we can do proper paperwork. Let's see what's going on in here. Okay, so there's a paperwork desk back over here, and we're going to be doing those, that paperwork. And uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and look at the uh, court system, guys, and see what today's show is for, especially our police impersonator, right? Uh, let's see what this looks like. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, right here, court cases. Uh, it's going to be under, right here, Gary Wells. Uh, he had a impersonation of LEO, a possession of fake LEO badge with intent to impersonate LEO and consume a firearm without CCP. Uh, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to have to say uh, probably eight years. Eight years. 
Uh, what? No prison time? Are you serious? This guy must have had a, the best lawyer ever. Uh, because I, I got court case, uh, you know, court cases installed with CompuLite, and there's always a percentage that they can get probation. And this guy struck the lottery on this one. Uh, he had probation on everything. That is crazy. So win some, you lose some, right? But he did have a $2,673 fine. But uh, anyway, you can't win them all. But uh, thank you there, Officer Joe, for your assistance. And like I said, guys, just leave a comment and uh, down below. You know, like the video if you can. I'd greatly appreciate that. And leave a comment about anything. And then uh, see if my random comment generator will pick you up for my next uh, patrol in the channel. And I do appreciate everybody watching. And thank you to the Patreons. You guys are awesome. Really do appreciate you guys, all the side support. We've been uploading some new content on Patreon. And then also, thank you very much to the YouTube members. Uh, you guys are awesome. I could not do this channel without you. I really do mean that. And I really do appreciate all the side support and all the help that you've given me on the YouTube channel. We've been growing like crazy, guys. Really crazy. We, we may hit 100K on this channel. Hopefully by summer is what I'm feeling. But thank you guys so much. And we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe. Downtown on Walker, downtown on.